Hey, welcome back, Sweden, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is Monday, uh, August the 9th, 2021. It's time for your daily COVID-19 analysis. Before we get started, you know, a big shout out to this, what, the six people who viewed this video yesterday. I appreciate every one of you six people. And before we get started, quite, I do have a couple of favors to ask. First of all, click on that subscribe button. Second of all, click on the like button. Third and most important of all, click on the share button. Share the video, this video with your friends and family. They share it on Facebook or on Twitter. You can, of course, also copy and paste the link into an email and text message and share it with your friends and family that way, okay? One more thing before we get started here. You always need to remind yourself that uh, Sweden only records COVID-19 deaths Tuesday to Friday, which means Saturday, Sunday, Monday's numbers are added on the Tuesday number, which, of course, produces a major spike. Because of this reporting method, we're no longer we're no longer really tracking the actual daily numbers. Instead, what we're tracking is just a trend. Is, uh, are the numbers trending up or the numbers trending down? Okay. Because here you can see these massive spikes, but the trend line is actually way down here. Okay. What you can see here is you had this long declining pattern. Now you're starting to see numbers uh, beginning to climb up back up again for for deaths. Okay. I'm sorry, this is for cases. Cases are starting to increase. You can see that same little pattern down here. These are 20 day moving average. So for the 28 day period ending 725, you were averaging 428.5 cases per day. Okay. If we look at deaths, you can see deaths is continuing to decline. Okay. So what this means, in actual fact, uh, <laughs> you actually have less than one death, 1.5 deaths. Okay, so this is this is very good news. I also want to just just uh, uh, you uh, just run this by you. Uh, the vaccines being used in the U.S. are not designed to keep you from getting COVID-19. They are only designed to keep you to reduce the chances that you'll die from COVID-19. Okay, so what that means is, if that's the case in Sweden, what that means is, okay, the number of cases can continue to go up, but the number of deaths will continue to go down because of the vaccination, okay? So therefore, don't be misled with all this talk about cases or even hospital beds, because gays cases are going to continue to go up. You can vaccinate every single person in Sweden and the COVID-19 cases could still continue to go up because the vaccine doesn't keep you from getting the disease. Very important to keep that in mind. Don't be misled by the media. Okay. Now, this is deaths 20 in moving average. So you can see back over here, there has been a slight increase, but now they started to trend back down. So for the 28-day period in 725, you were averaging 6.67 deaths per day. This is month. This is weekly numbers, weekly cases. You can see that uh, these numbers are, are going back up a little bit. Hopefully, this is hopefully this is a spike right there. What about deaths? We can see you had three kind of spike weeks in a row for some odd reason. But again, this is this is 125 deaths. So this is 75 deaths. You have, so right now you're probably averaging 50 to 60 COVID-19 deaths per week in Sweden. Okay. Monthly cases. Well, look, look, look where you've come from. This is still, this is still going to be the fourth month in a row where you go see a decline in monthly cases. What about deaths? Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a pretty good chance that just that you go. Well, here's here's August. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've already had six straight months decline in COVID-19 deaths. Okay. And that's the number I want you to focus on. I want you to focus on those deaths. Okay. Anyway, uh, Sweden, thanks so much for your time today. And we'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.